steadies the arm and brings calm certainty in the face of death. We'll take those. Bleed, you filth! This might be the way to go, actually. Here come the spiders. They're just getting bigger and bigger. Unfortunately, we are doing more and more damage as time goes by, so not mattering. Die, you enemies. That was just a taste. Hundred and sixty five fucking kills. Holy shit. That is a lot. Clever dice. Ah, it's a secondary for the follower. Wait. I can't use that. Oh, it's for the scoundrel. That's why. What about this chest? Nothing crazy. Good amount of regular stuff. You could use that. And I think that's it pretty much. I will say that was pretty epic to be able to actually kill that many enemies at once. Oh, there's a treasure goblin. And now he's dead. Let's actually go back though. I want to see if there is anything that I missed. So we know this is the right way to go. And yeah, this hermit, as I suspected, uh, is crazy in that he thinks that uh, Magda is his mistress. And I know for sure that uh, this is not a game with lore like Dragon Age where there's some fucked up shit that actually would mean that, uh, she's mating with him. No. Nothing like that in this, in this, uh, game. For better or for worse. Depends on your perspective. Speaking of Dragon Age... That is a game I should play sometime. It's just a little long is the only thing, like... I'm wary of playing games that are too long on the channel here, just because... Um... 
them being very long means that I'll be playing them on the channel for a long time. But maybe we'll play it. Get to see the, uh, the brood mother. And the fucked up lore around that. If you, if you were watching this or listening to this or whatever, and you don't know about the brood mother from Dragon Age, go ahead and do yourself a, uh, a, a solid, I guess, and um, look up the, the lore of the brood mother. Sweet revenge. You can thank me later. Hey, we got another passive skill out of that. Primary skills generate an additional four hatred. I think this thrill of the hunt actually is pretty good. So we'll do that. Disturb the eggs, what you're saying. Got a good amount of um, gold and items out of that one. This seems like something that he would benefit more from. Yes. Good. And yet another chest. What's this? Oh, can I not? Okay, well. I tried, dude. I was right there, and... For some reason, it just did not let me actually, uh, save you, but, oh well. Amulet of Wounding. Let's give that to him. Ah, good. Chancellor Eamon, it is of the utmost importance that we secure my manor from the traitorous rabble in Tristram. The caves to the east are too close to my land. They must be blocked, completely obstructed. I believe the Archbishop Lazarus has magically bound some arachnids of late. They may serve us well. That was a bad fucking idea. Now look what happened. If, okay, if magic ever comes around and someone's like, hey, yeah, uh, there's this, uh, spell that I can cast that'll make it so that these spiders will work for us. Don't trust that person. That is a bad fucking idea all around to get spiders on your side. I mean, look at how big these fucking spiders are. Like, would yeah, I don't think anybody watching this would want to face a fucking spider that big. Please help me. It's horrible. She sucks the innards from her victims. Oh, no. No. It's too late. I hear her. The Spider Queen is coming. 
Let her come. How do you like them apples, motherfucker? You're almost dead. You're literally one hit from death. Where are you dropping down? There you are. To dissolve these ways, please hurry. I can't hang out like this a moment longer. I'll go mad. All right, that's an upgrade all around. That's a pretty nice ring. Let's put that on. Damnation Venture. We're doing that. Okay. Put it on there. And switch it over there. That way we don't get them mixed up. We'll give him that. And that. All right, I think we're, I think we're good. Ah, good. Wait. Hmm. Okay. We actually can use that axe. Did not know. Anyways, we use that on the. Okay, I see. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Can we please leave this horrible place? Yes, let's get out of the spider nest. I seek a man taken by the coven. The coven? I saw them dragging someone into Leoric's manor house. Perhaps it was the man you seek. Uh, you might have a small bit of trouble reaching there, though. I'm not proud of this, but I stole the stuff of a powerful Khazra Shaman. The Khazra went mad and chased me to the caves. You can find the stuff in my cult in the highlands. If you take it to the Khazra barricade, perhaps they will let you pass. Hmm, okay. There's a barricade we gotta get past. We gotta use, uh... The staff. I think, yeah, I should go back. Not there. I was gonna say I should go back to town in order to um, sell some stuff. Not there, because apparently we can't sell anything at the fucking blacksmith. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Okay, and let's put our gems in here. Yeah. Do that. All right, so back at it. We have to go trail the coven, as it says. We have to find the Kazra staff. It just came out of the cave with all the spiders. Right over here. Yep. 
We need to find the staff and then that will allow us to get past the uh, barricade, I believe it was. All right. I realized I actually I'd never activated that ability yet. Long ago, five clans of the Umbaru tribe left the Tiganzi and ventured north. After their transformation into Kazra, only a few elders were still able to use magic, and they passed it down to their cleverest children. These are the Khazra Shaman, and they rank among the most dangerous of their race. I guess the Khazra are the, uh, the, the goat men, basically. So new Tristram and the fields surrounding it have been resettled over the years. The highlands remain empty, save for the crumbling ruins of Leoric's old outposts. The king built more than one watchtower in his paranoia. But now they cannot even ward away goatmen and wild beasts. A tragedy, really. Yeah, we fought goatmen in Diablo 2 also. They were all over... Um, whatever this part of the continent is called. I forget exactly. Long I have labored to master the dark arts. Now I finally reap the rewards. Amanda has acknowledged me. She promised me a special task that would bring endless glory to the Great One. I can hardly rest until she reveals it on the morrow. You sound a little crazy, dude. Well, these guys put up a little bit of a fight, health-wise. That does a little bit more damage, probably, than, yeah, the one that he, ha that he has on currently. So let's go ahead and give him that. We'll get some health back per hit as well, whenever he uses that. Which is good to put on a mercenary because they will literally just charge into whatever you throw at them. Spiders? You wanted to fight some spiders? Is that what? We have done it. Kinda do that. I mean, any day of the week, I feel like. You know, most RPGs tend to have spider enemies that you can kill. I didn't miss a pathway up there because I took this way instead of the one going up. I might have to go back for that one, that other path. Yep, I gotta go back. All right. I am well, too low on discipline. that's fine. We will see what's up here. Not enough discipline. Probably nothing actually, but. Should it not fear the light? If it is truly evil, it does not care. Yeah, just a uh, dead adventurer. Figurative foe of evil. All right, so now we got to go to level two. And level two is where the good stuff is going to be. Almost there. Don't get stuck on the geometry. All right. Cave of the Moon Clan level two. Your fear betrays you. Bloodface the Wicked. Well, didn't stand enough of a challenge for us. Right. 
what did we get from this? Some pants, which uh, actually do give us a little bit more damage and toughness. So let's go ahead and equip that. And then let's see if maybe he'll benefit. Well, yeah, it looks like he benefits from that upgrade. And this upgrade. Not so much that one. That's okay. What about this? Oh yeah. Nice upgrade for him. We still have a better uh, amulet on though, so not an upgrade for us. That's fine. Now we're probably just looking for the way out of here, huh? And you all die. No, there's a loot goblin. And he's dead. Drops some treasure. All of my labors were for a bunch of rotten, stinking goatmen. Here's the way out. They will become our most valuable allies, and that the task is one that she can entrust to no one but me. But I know my place. I am most brutally need more disciplined. Got a bloody chest with really nothing of worth in it. Let me actually just even throw that on the on the ground because no point picking that up. Not enough discipline. Okay, and we're gonna go back to the highlands and continue exploring. I am too low on discipline. Go this way. Oh, hello. Nice when the bola just explodes in a, a whole group of them. Had to do a little bit of actual stuff. Not enough discipline. What is this? What foul necromancy is this? Too late, fool. I control these spirits now. Of course. We gotta fight them probably. Yep. But not a problem. I will raise an army of souls from these primitives and chain them to my invincible will. Yes, with these heathens at my command, the kingdoms of the world shall bow to the might of the Lord of Goats! I may have to work on the title a bit more. Even he realizes that it's kind of a dumb title. All right, let's see. Got a rune for that. Marked for death. Probably don't need that. Face of fire. Yeah, nothing really that's catching my interest. Maybe sometime down the line we'll actually switch to those other abilities, but as it is right now, I think that we're totally fine with our current build. Like We don't have any trouble killing anything, pretty much, so... Yeah, and that's not an upgrade either yet. Okay, I did just pick up a ring. What does that do for me? Maybe it does something for our mercenary. Yep, I think it does because he doesn't need that ring. That ring is kind of worthless.
There's a fortress here that we probably have to go into. But let's see if maybe we can find something else first. You know, I feel like there's probably another code or cave, not code. So this is the barricade that we have to go through. This cannot be opened yet. But we need the staff in order to do that. Oh. And you know what? The staff is literally right here. That being said, I'm not gonna go into that barricade just yet. I wanna explore the map first and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Drop that. Oh, we got some enemies ambushing us. They didn't stand a chance, though. How about this? Is this better for you? Not really, no, because uh, I think the one that he has on is better. And I did not mean to pick that up again. Alright, so let's go fill out the map. Try to find if there's another cave. Maybe we can go through there. And then after that, we'll go through the barricade. If anything, there'll just be more enemies for me to kill. Get some experience from. Not that I really need it, you know, because... The game has not really been... So challenging. The local Khazra tribes have become a serious I need threat. more discipline. They attack caravans and are moving into areas where they haven't been seen before. We need you to take care of this problem for us. We'll pay 25 gold pieces for every Khazra head you bring back. <laughs> Just tearing up these groups of enemies. Got a little bit more experience from that pool. We can use that. Because I feel like we're starting to maybe out-level the stuff that we're facing. Which is not something you can really say about, um... Diablo 2, like, maybe if you are doing the same thing of, like, going to every cave and all that, then maybe in Diablo 2, but every time I play Diablo 2, especially with the first couple bosses, I always feel like I'm very underpowered. Actually... Not even just the first two bosses, like most of the bosses in Diablo 2, I feel like I'm a little underpowered against. You know, like, uh... Andariel. Act 1. She's a little difficult to handle if you haven't, uh, been trying to specifically build something against her. Uh, Duriel, man, that's... That's a boss that is notoriously hard the first time around, if you're a solo at least. If you're with a group of people, it's not as hard. Um, still difficult, but not super hard. Um, Mephisto actually is the one that's not that difficult in comparison. But then you have... Um, What's his face? Uh, Diablo himself, and he is difficult. And then Bale in Act 5 is also a little difficult as well, I'd say. But, you know, by the end of Act 5, you actually have stuff to be able to fight off against him. It's a little bit easier than it would have been otherwise, but I still feel like the challenge was definitely there. Looks like we have an event.
destroy the shamanic wards around the Kazra mummy. Okay, and then now we have to fight these guys. Speak to the ghosts of Garbad. Oh, you asshole. You're dead now. What happens when you cross me? We're gonna need to go back to town in a second. We're running out of space here. Maybe we'll go back before we go through the barrier. Or the barricade, rather. Not barrier. Because I feel like we might want the extra space. I am returning to town. Let's go back to town. We'll sell our stuff. And also repair. Probably need to do that too. Okay. And let's check out the stash and put these in there. Ah, uh, yes. I keep forgetting that there's these legendary gloves in my stash from when I played that, uh, Barbarian. Alright, so we have to find the Oryx Manor Courtyard. Making some good headroom so far. We're about to level as well. And there we go. We got a level. Multi shot. What is that a part of? Is that part of? Might be part of strafe. Companion. Oh, I didn't even realize that we had. The ability to summon a raven companion. That instead of vault. You know what? I might do that. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Do spider companion. And then what's this? Multi-shot instead of, uh, strafe. Let me try that out. Oh, that's kind of good. Looks like. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty busted. I need more hatred to do that. Okay, we'll summon the companion, spider companion. Did I? All it took is one shot and I got 20 kills. That's kind of, it's kind of bussing. Oh, I need to remember to, that I don't need to hit two because I don't have movement anymore. Which I'm probably gonna miss, but it's fine. Having a companion instead, I'm sure, is actually more useful. We'll sit two again. <laughs> All right. This uh, whole area kind of became a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be.
Oh, hello. Ah, we got a waypoint. That'll come in handy. Hello. There's another altar right here. With nothing. Nothing in the rotting log either. That's a lot of gold. Yeah, this multi shots kind of just feels good, you know. My hatred is too low. Uses a lot of hatred is the only thing. That is the big downside to it.